Hey, I forgot to add this into the video, but the number one thing you guys should do once you are accepted into medical school is make an appointment with your school's financial aid advisor. That is the number one thing you should do when you get accepted. It's what I did as soon as I knew I was accepted. It eased a lot of anxiety and worry about how I was going to pay for medical school. And now onto the video. Today, let's talk about how I ended up paying for medical school, different methods I considered to pay for medical school, and what I ended up doing. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Aaron. I'm a first year med student, just sharing my journey on YouTube like many other people. And I have written down five ways um, to pay for medical school and I'll tell you guys how what I ended up doing and give you guys some rough estimates of how much I'm paying every single year um, for medical school. So the first way to pay for medical school and the best way in my opinion is to have your parents or your family pay for medical school if that is an option that is the best way the interest is crazy for all the other ways and if your family um, has enough um, money to help you go get through medical school that's the best way um, I know a lot of people like see this as something wrong like oh my parents or my family that is awesome if your parents or your family can afford it if your whole family can like group up together and pay for your medical school you are going to save so much money in the long run you're going to save so much stress and it's going to be amazing so don't feel ashamed if your parents or your family are paying for it. that is awesome uh, i'm a first gen med student so that wasn't an option for me so i ended up going with student loans so government student loans they have a fixed interest rate per like semester i think right now they're running around seven percent and I've calculated in the long run how much I'm going to be paying. Um, so for every dollar I spend, I'm going to end up paying an extra 33 cents. So for every one dollar, I pay a dollar 33. And this is over like 10 years or I don't know how much I calculated it, but it's what I kind of have in the back of my head. Whenever I'm buying something, I'm paying 33% more for this, whatever it is I'm buying. Um, and government and student loans, they have a limit at about 48 I think for the first year and then I think they kind of increase a little bit after that I'm not entirely sure but that is how I'm paying for medical school through student loans um, and then on top of student loans you can get private loans those are probably the worst option in my opinion because the interest rates are pretty high the terms aren't the best I haven't gotten any private student loans so I can't really talk too much about that um, but I have heard they are the best and I hope I never have to take a private student loan. Third is of course scholarships and grants. So I was lucky enough to get a scholarship for my school. It's about $8,000 a year, $4,000 a semester which is actually a lot. Uh, I really appreciate it and it was for disadvantaged students. So that's the reason I got that scholarship and I hope to renew it every single year and that is $32,000 in the long run that I am not going to have to take out on student loans. So 33% of that would be another 10. So that would be like $40,000 um, that I would end up paying in the long run, which I will no longer have to pay. So that's amazing. Really glad I got that. If your school offers any scholarships, grants, write an essay, submit. You never know what you're going to get. And definitely go after those scholarship opportunities, especially at this level of your education. Any extra money that you don't have to pay back is the best. The fourth option, and this is the option I considered, uh, I very highly considered this when I was interviewing at some very expensive medical schools. The tuition at these schools was like 55000 because I was out of state. So that is $220,000 over the 40, over the four years just in tuition. This doesn't include housing, food, rent, anything. So that is a lot of money. 200000 just in tuition. I was going to go into the military because the military offers the HSPS scholarship. So they will pay for your entire tuition, books, expenses, all of that, and give you a $2,300 stipend on top of that. So they are paying a lot, but you have to do military service whenever you graduate and you have to go through their military residency programs. Sometimes they don't have the residency program you want to apply to, but you are locked in and you have to pursue. Uh, what's available I guess I don't know exactly how it works because I didn't end up going that route but it's something I very highly considered if I had been accepted to a much more expensive medical school than I'm going now I probably would have enlisted gone the military route just because I did not want to do the $200,000 just in tuition debt 
it would have been insane when I graduated. And then fifth is loan for forgiveness. So whenever you graduate medical school and residency, you can apply for a loan for forgiveness programs. These loan for forgiveness programs do not apply to private student loans, but any public federal loans you obtained, you have like, if you do the minimum payment for like 10 years, then they will um, forgive the rest of your loans, whatever you haven't paid back, except at the end of those 10 years, whatever they pay off for your loans, it's called the tax bomb. And whatever you get taxed on all that money that they paid. So it's a scary situation. Loan for forgiveness is probably something I will look into more uh, once I start get, getting close to closer to graduating. Um, and I, I might also try to repay my student loans as fast as possible. I don't know what route I'm going to go when I graduate. I'm gonna hire a financial advisor uh, that is specialized in like medical personnel, medical professions to help me make the best decision because I have I have heard that there's like some tax breaks if you don't pay it off and things like that. So I don't have a lot of information on that yet, but I will let you guys know in a few years. You guys know for sure. Um, so yeah, I, so you guys go and you, you guys know. So I'm gonna give you guys a few rough figures now. So you all know I go to the University of New Mexico School of Medicine. All right, so I calculated tuition for this last year and tuition for one year at the school is $19,039.46 for a year. That is an under $20,000 tuition medical school. So when I was accepted here, I was super excited because it's my hometown, it's like, it's my state school. The tuition is one of the lowest in the country. It's not the lowest, but it is one of the lowest and I am super excited. So I was like, I'm going to go the student loan route. I'm not going to go into the military. This, these are numbers I will, I do believe I will be able to handle once I graduate. And then, so that's nine, that's about $19,000. Okay. In tuition for a year. And then, so I calculated my rent, my car payment and all my bills basically in a year come up to about $14,400. So every year, I'm paying around $33,400 for like school and all my rent, uh, my car payment and all my utilities like internet, water, gas, etc. And then on top of that, you have to pay for other things. So like your books, your food, gas, uh, insurance, any fun you want to have, any clothes you want to buy, any additional like subscriptions like Pathoma, Sketchy, Boards and Beyond. These are all extra expenses, so you guys really need to be smart with your money. Um, $33,000 just in a year in stuff that I can't really adjust. The rest is what I can adjust. So I do expect that I will be, bet I'm hoping, I was aiming for about $150,000 um, whenever I graduate medical school. Based on what I am right now, I don't think that's possible, so I'm going to aim under 200000 Maybe um, I'll let you guys know as I progress. Maybe I'll do like a yearly update on how much I paid for medical school. But those are the top five ways that I researched how to pay for medical school, what I did, um, and what I was considering doing. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Um, and I'm just taking a quick break from, I, I drew the kidney back there real quick. So check out my vlog. It's coming out next week. I'm going to try and do weekly vlogs and I hope this was informative for you guys. I hope I helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching and bye.